During this tutorial, I will uh, review question uh, state assignment 11, question number three. Let's open up the question. On the screen, you should be able to, uh, you should be able to see the question, which uh, uh, states that we want to uh, test whether during the days when stock market uh, or the ticker generates positive returns, uh, those uh, days are equally likely to be any weekday. So, uh, so it is equally. So we are testing H zero hypothesis that it is equally likely stock market to generate positive return uh, during any weekdays on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, and on Friday. So let's open up this data and let's dive in how to test this hypothesis. On the screen, you should be able to see this data right now. So we first open up the data set. And first step, we generate, generate daily return on S&P 500. So I'm always using S&P 500, but that can be done similar way on any other stock. So I will generate the daily return on S&P 500 as a ratio of uh, price, current price divided over previous day price and minus one. And I will drop all days when, uh, when uh, daily return is negative. Andre is less or equal or, or it's zero basically. So uh, about 118 observations was dropped. So we our data set still consists of original was 252. So minus 118 was dropped. So whatever remains are the days when the returns are positive. So next thing we want to do is to generate the uh, days. So which day of the week uh, are remaining in the data set. So we use the following command here. So we generate weekdays as follows. So this is the weekdays. And finally, we rely on the following command, uh, which is known as a chi-square goodness of fit test. And the command which does the trick here is uh, C, uh, CS, which stands for chi-square, GOF, which stands for goodness of fit, and weekdays, and we expect, if H0 hypothesis is true, that uh, all days uh, should be equally likely, the stock market to generate positive returns. So with this expression here, expected values are uh, 20% on each uh, 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 five trading days. So it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. There are five trading days, so total should be 100. So we expect those to be equally likely. So let's hit the enter. So this uh, table basically summarizes what we expect and what is the actual or what actual frequencies are. This table basically summarizes what we expect and what we actually observe. And then there is reported chi-square uh, test result, which is uh, a te chi-square test with four degrees of freedom. It's 1.07. <coughs> and next we see the p-value, which is 89%. Uh, so which means what? Probability of... Uh, uh, of uh, rejecting the H0 hypothesis, probability of making type 1 error is 89% if we, if we reject H0 hypothesis. And this 89% exceeds the acceptable level, which is 5%. So we, uh, we don't have enough evidence to reject H0. So there is no enough evidence to conclude that uh, they are unequally distributed. So we accept that uh, 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 weekdays are equally likely stock market to generate positive returns. 